We like to think we have the sort of pulse on what's hot out there in the toy world, and we've been doing this for 20 years almost here now. Our slogan is kind of everyone's a fan of something, and I think our mission is to be sure that we're getting that something to everyone. And so we have over a thousand licenses, and we cover every gamut from sports to movies to video games, so I feel like we're, we're doing a pretty good job of achieving that mission. I'm Sean Wilkinson, creative director of Funco. I oversee a staff of over 80 people, talented artists, sculptors, designers. I kind of oversee it from sort of start to finish, from concept and getting the licenses to the design, the detailing, the packaging, and make sure it moves out smoothly and looks as amazing as it should. The sort of life of the beginning to the shelf is everywhere from four months to six months. It sort of starts with getting the license, finding the character list, the right characters, the right outfits, the right poses, working with our creative team. There's always somebody who's sort of an expert in every category of license we have, so we tap into the right person, find the right details that we need to know about each character. When we first get the concept, we have to translate into 3D, and that's not always a simple task, especially if you're used to the figure only being in a two dimensions. I say for this one it was interesting because he has this large dome that covers his head, and it's kind of technically a little challenging to create that, and there's a little bit of problem solving you have to do because the head is already so huge. That took a little bit on our part to figure out how to do. You have to really think about the final scale and sometimes that means simplifying the detail further or if you look at the reference of the character you might think, oh actually this character is maybe missing a belt buckle or the shoes are not quite right in the concept. So you have to go through and really think about all those elements and really try to get the essence of the inspiration and put it in the sculpt. When we were first doing bobbleheads, most of our audience, our, our fans, were 30 plus, and they loved the nostalgic licenses we would bring into toys. And I think, you know, with Pop, we've even sort of widened that a little bit. There's sort of a young audience, but we still have sort of this old audience that has really become this collector craze. And it sort of gave permission for older people to like toys. It used to be very kid-oriented experience, and I think Funko was a big part of showing that nobody ever has to grow up and you can collect toys until you're dead.